All right, well, good morning. Um, my name is Thomas Isakovich. I'm the founder and CEO with Nimbus Data. Uh, today I'll be taking you through the company and our technology. Uh, Nimbus is one of the very early pioneers of all flash-based network storage systems. Uh, so I'll go through what we've developed from a hardware perspective, what we've developed from a software perspective. Uh, we'll talk about customers, we'll talk about applications, we'll talk about the company. So we'll cover a little bit of everything. Uh, in the spirit of uh, this event, feel free to keep this as flowing and interactive as possible. Stop me, raise your hands, ask questions, whatever you like to do, just feel free. And as we go along, I'd love to have uh, this be as interactive as possible so you can get the most out of it. Okay, great. So uh, let's kind of you know, step back uh, briefly and uh, just do a quick review of sort of the, the state of the union when it comes to flash memory. Uh, flash memory, I recall when we uh, began shipping our first product in GA about two and a half years ago, people were still a bit skeptical about how significant a role flash memory would play in the data center. And that's something that's changed dramatically uh, over the past two years. Uh, today, I don't think anyone questions anymore that flash is going to have a significant role in the data center. Now the question is around, will it be actual storage, or will it be a cache, or will it be some combination of both? Uh, we believe it will be both, but Nimbus is predominantly interested in serving it as actual storage, flash memory to be where your data actually resides, not just a temporary holding point for your data. Now, some of the analysts have come out and, and put together some uh, pretty aggressive forecasts for where this industry is going. Uh, even Forbes uh, coming out, and, and I think that's a, a heck of an indicator of just how big this opportunity is if it's actually that mainstream. And obviously, much of this was kicked off thanks to the consumer side of the market. The, the iPhones, the iPads, all these mobile devices utilizing Flash, that driving the cost of Flash down and making it possible for the first time to actually do a Flash-based network storage system at scale that's reasonably affordable. Now the applications that we see driving Flash adoption are what we call Tier 1 or primary storage applications. Uh, these include server and desktop virtualization, uh, it includes databases of all kinds, Oracle, SQL, and so on. Uh, it includes analytics use cases. In many cases, it also includes high-performance computing apps, content streaming, anything that needs a tremendous amount of performance. And also, because of the efficiency of Flash, which I'll get into, uh, also something that service providers are now looking at very keenly as well. Uh, they've already built large clouds around disk-based storage. now clouds built around flash-based storage is something that I think every major service provider is investigating pretty seriously. So all these markets are high growth markets that demand continual increases in performance and continual reduction in operating cost. Now obviously Flash's headlining feature is performance and for, uh, for performance Flash is, is really unrivaled as far as any other persistent storage media today. Uh, and if you look at the last 12 years, you know, performance for traditional storage has been dramatically behind performance of compute, performance of networks, performance of even internal PCIe buses have scaled at least as quickly as Moore's Law, in some cases actually dramatically faster than Moore's Law. But hard drive technology, traditional spindle technology has remained relatively dormant at that same 15,000 RPM data rate. And while technologies like tiering and caching and spindle short stroking have been utilized to extend the life of hard drives for primary storage, uh, these technologies involve a lot of complexity, a lot of cost, and they're simply running out of gas as far as what they can do. It's time to sort of hand the baton over to Flash when it comes to primary storage. Now, as you'll see, I continually refer to primary storage because our goal is to actually help customers have a two-tier environment with flash being the primary storage and some kind of cost-effective bulk storage being their near-line capacity. Whether that happens to be a, a bulk SATA-based disk array at the customer premise or something off into the cloud, uh, we're not saying flash for everything, but we're saying flash for everything that's what one would call primary storage or performance-sensitive storage. And that's you know, about a third of the market uh, based on uh, the latest uh, analyst projections. Now the other uh, aspect of Flash that's uh, very, very exciting outside of performance is actually the efficiency. Uh, if you look at today's data centers, uh, the latest Gartner figures put storage at about uh, over a third of the power consumption of the data center, about you know, getting close to 40%. Uh, 
Uh, and you know, we see this actually growing. The, the annual growth rate of data is actually driving this higher. We, uh, we expect probably within the next three, four years that actually storage will be the number one contributor to power consumption in a modern data center. So companies are looking for ways that they can actually take, take back time, turn back time on power consumption. And Flash is a phenomenal way to do that. It's going to help companies defer their data center costs uh, and also consolidate their environments much more effectively to reduce operating cost. So in a nutshell, Flash is about speed, it's about efficiency. And that's why we coined this term what we call sustainable storage back in 2010. I remember when we coined that term, people were sort of trying to get their arms around what exactly does that mean, sustainable storage? And effectively, it means that we are focusing on those two problems, performance and operating cost and operating efficiencies, how to build a more sustainable storage infrastructure. Now, today, uh, the company has uh, about 250 customers. Uh, we have distribution partners in 18 countries, so we've grown dramatically over the past two years. On average, a company's been growing about 500% uh, year over year uh, over the past two years. The company is also profitable, has been profitable since 2010. Uh, this year, uh, will, 2012, will certainly be an absolute record year for the company. So we've actually been able to grow uh, not just the top line, but also the bottom line of the business very, very well. Uh, it's a unique story. In this industry, it's not uncommon for uh, companies to go out and raise 50, 100, even $200 million of outside financing, and even then have maybe only a 10 to 20% chance of success. Here's a company, Nimbus Data, that has actually raised no outside institutional financing and has not only built an award-winning product, but has actually achieved profitability, is standing on its own two feet securely as a company without outside investors, and is on a fast track to becoming a public company, we think, in the next couple of years. So it's a very unusual story, uh, one that I'm, I'm personally very proud of, proud of our team for what we've built uh, in a very short period of time in a, kind of a new way of approaching how to build businesses. And we've been able to do that without sacrificing a technology leadership position. And I think all the different awards that we've picked up uh, over the past couple of years really indicate that. Uh, we've taken home multiple Product of the Year awards. Uh, we've been named market leader, among other things, in various areas around NAS-based Flash, Unified Flash, and so on. 